Hi everybody, David Harper here. I'm in the process of renovating a Georgian house. Over 200 years old, it's literally I'm living in an antique. And after excavating my driveway and revealing an old stable yard, I've discovered this original drain cover, over 200 years old. It looks like it, you need to throw it away. However, it's a case of seeing if I can restore this thing and make a bit of a feature of it, because obviously I didn't know it was here. It's just a bit of a bonus yesterday when the lads dragged all the, what, almost a foot away of hardcore with the big digger, and, and we discovered this. I, I assume it's cast iron. There might be a, a slim possibility it's pottery, but if you look closely at it here, you can see it almost has like a fossilised kind of look to it. Certainly old stones have almost become part of the actual grate itself. I've picked out already little areas like this. You can see that it's actually a potentially fun functioning grate. So I'll do a bit more and the drain is there. I mean, it's right down there. It's probably just a, a soak away, ancient soak away, but it's there. So let's clear out more of the holes. I'm trying not to drop anything into the, the grate. Rusty bits of nail, probably, what do you think? Horses hooves, I would imagine. Nails from the hooves. Yeah, there's a nail there. Yeah, it's got to be cast iron. If it was pottery, I think I would have smashed it by now. I mean, talk about quality. So this, I'm, I'm guessing, is it's got to be 200 years old, hasn't it? The house was built in the 18th century. We think the stable block yard here is probably early 19th century, so it's at least 200 years old. There you go. I mean, that is a very good, <laughs> it's just a good design. Just a very good design. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to remove the stones using a chisel and a broken mallet. It's not all about having the right tools, but it probably is. Here we go. What I don't want to do is shatter the cast iron. And also I don't want to drop too many stones down the drain. Look at that, I mean, it really does feel like it's literally fossilised. See a difference now, can't you? It's actually coming to life here. You can see the frame around the outside edge.
off the bit there. Now oh, that's part of it, is it? I think that's part of the grate. Feels like it. Yeah, that must be where they could gain that. Ah, that's interesting, look at that. I think that's possibly where they could gain access to the drain to clear it when necessary. So let's kind of try and reveal that. I mean, this is genuinely an antique, isn't it? I mean, this really is an antique. It's no different to a piece of furniture or a piece of sculpture from this period. It's just magnificent quality and it's sculptural in itself. And when you look at pieces made from the past like this, from antiquity, uh, they always blow your mind because remember, things like this. So from uh, uh, something to uh, rainwater runaway from 200 years ago is no different to a piece of art or a piece of furniture in the fact that it was designed to last forever. So I'm going to just take my time and make sure I do it justice. It would be so nice if I can lift this thing out of the ground. And looking at it earlier on, I thought there's absolutely no chance. Now I'm feeling a little bit confident. We shall see, I suppose. Obviously, the worry is I don't want to overdo this thing and shatter it. So I'll just be very, very careful. This is where it could all go very horribly wrong. Okay, here we go, get ready for disaster. <laughs> Unbelievable. When was this last lifted out of the ground? Oh my goodness me. It's gorgeous. Wonderfully heavy too, gosh. 
Okay, needs a really good clear out, so time to get my hands dirty. I love this bit actually. Um, so it might be a soak away, might be stones underneath there, but it probably only needs a couple of feet. That should do it. So I keep just very clayy. Well, that didn't take very long, but take a look inside the cleared out drain. When did a person last clear out that drain? Blows my mind, but it didn't take very long and it's ready to be put back into action again. Right, well, it's now time to test the old soak away drain, isn't it? So I've got some soapy water. I'm gonna give it a bit of a scrub around the outside edge to see if this is actually stone or metal. Oh, well, that's stone, <laughs> immediately. That is, that, I'm sure. That, oh my god, <laughs> that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous look at the color so this is hand cut sandstone out of one great big chunk and it's in period it's georgian it's over 200 years old and it is delicious okay hot soapy water now for definitely cast iron but that's not fantastic that being stone Right, so here, look at that. It is a monster of a weight. I mean, seriously heavy. So I'll give it a good scrub. Let's see if we can get some of these really sticky barnacles off it. Might as well utilise the drain, might we? Ah, that's interesting. Let me show you something. Have a look around here. Again, it's very much like antiques. When you start cleaning or restoring an antique, things reveal themselves. Don't they? You know, you know this. They, information comes to light and objects can tell their history. Well, this is telling a history that it's been painted many times before. You'd assume it'd be painted black, and I might just paint it black. Let me know what you think, I, I don't know. But at some point, it's been painted bright blue. Look. Watch the blue reveal itself. Ah. So these things were painted periodically and not always in mundane colours. No, not always in mundane colours. The Georgians particularly loved bright colours. Bright reds, oranges, yellows, and a very popular colour during the Georgian period was green, an emerald green, a green that was only ever found in nature, funny enough. The Georgians created, unfortunately it had a terrible side effect because they used arsenic to create this wonderful bright green colour which they used in paint wallpapers famously and you know what if you have an old wallpaper at home like a 19th century wallpaper and it's green check it out because it might be the old arsenic wallpaper and of course that killed many thousands of people during that time luckily blue didn't suffer with arsenic ingredients, I promise. Right, let's get stuck in.
Right, here it is. The restored, or as far as I want to restore it, Georgian cast iron stable yard drain cover. Done and dusted. Thanks for watching everybody, I'm David Harper, till next time, cheerio.